in my student days in London, in an era long before iPads and computers, when pianists played with instrumentalists and singers chamber music, they nearly always had on the stage with them on the platform somebody to turn their pages, and it was a very common sight. And as a student at the academy, I found myself doing a lot of it for some reason, and <coughs> often it was very boring and rather depressing. But at times I had the opportunity to turn the pages of some very great artists who came to London, for instance, Yasha Heifetz, the great violinist, and uh, Elizabeth Schwarzkopf, the great singer, and uh, Gregor Piatigorsky, the cellist. And it was a wonderful experience to turn the pages and to learn something right there on the stage, as it were. So on this occasion, I was sitting in the room of the Goldsmiths Hall in London, the hall by courtesy of the Worshipful Company of the Goldsmiths, for a special concert that night. And that waiting there, and suddenly the door opened and in came a rather large gentleman with a herringbone overcoat with it up at the collar, with his shoulders up like this, saying, oh, this awful English weather. <laughs> well, it was a March day, and it was Francis Poulon, the great French composer. And behind him was the elegant figure of Pierre Bernac, the great baritone, who was uh, one of the greatest of all the French singers of the period, and a close associate of Monsieur Poulon. The concert was magnificent. And Monsieur Poulon played solos. They, uh, they gave music by Dupac and Schumann and Poulon and Ravel. So after the concert, I asked Monsieur Poulon would he, whether he would have a little time to hear me play sometimes, because I was learning on this composition. And he said, yes, I would love to, but you know, tomorrow I have to leave first thing for Paris, he said, but when I come the next time, do please be in touch, and I'll be delighted. And then there was a little pause, and he, he, he was a very, very amiable person. He looked at me and he said, but you know, my music is not difficult, he said. Just play it in time and drown it with the pedal. And I thought the last was a bit of a facetious remark, but it wasn't, because when you look at the score, you see the long pedal marks. And indeed, in his playing, the pedals were so strong that sometimes I almost thought he might be over pedaling. However, it didn't happen because I then went in for my military service for two years when I never played the piano. But as I've been practicing this piece to video it on my channel, I thought some of my viewers might be interested to know of my little brief contact with this great composer. And the joy of playing this piece, I can't tell you, it is so wonderful because it is a magnificent little piece, so perfectly shaped. He wrote everything from huge orchestral works and operas to these magnificent short piano pieces. And I just wanted to offer this memory of my brush with this wonderful man. This novelette is a superb example of his mastery of the short piano piece, very tuneful and exquisitely worked out and fine example of his art.